scouting out a different area. Last time I was out here, I could see a lot of fish, but a lot of debris from the flood. I did an exploration video here last time it flooded. Uh, I think there's actually more stuff now, even though the flood wasn't nearly as serious. More trash, anyway. Bunch of rocks in the water here. Oh, there's a good-sized bass right there. I think I spooked him, though, because the water's pretty clear. There are some fish here. Oh man, I had one come up and take it, but he didn't get the hooks. Man, that was a little nice, nice little bass. Not a big one, but hey, it was, anything's good. All right, up here's a bridge, a lot of concrete. I always have good luck around concrete. <clears throat> A lot of mud here. I'm standing on a big piece of concrete that's actually shaped to look like a natural rock, but it's concrete. And there's a big bass right there. He's looking right at the jerk bait. I mean, he's not a big bass, but that's probably the, one of the bigger ones I've seen here. He's checking it out. He's not interested in this. He's looking right at me, but he's not spooked away. And he's just got no interest in the jerkbait. There's a bunch of sunfish out there. Let me give him the uh, Senko and see what he does with that. Man. Oh, dude, it's his drag. He didn't have the hook in his mouth, but damn, he was pulling hard. Wonder where he went. Look at this. This was a brand new Senko. Teeth marks in it. That's why I didn't get him. He didn't have the hook in his mouth. He just had the tail of the Senko. Damn. That sucked. I'm cranking up my drag so he can't pull on me anymore like that. I don't see him. I don't know where he went. That's two already I missed. I had one hit the jerk bait, didn't take the hook, and then I had this one that didn't take the hook on the Senko. Oh man, I had another one. Again, I didn't, set the, didn't get the hook set. Maybe it's this hook. Shouldn't be this hook, but it's gotta be. What else would it be? That's three already I've missed. That one wasn't on for very long. He might still be there. I might be able to get another shot at him. Switch back to the jerk bait for a minute. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Oh man, I had another one go after it. That was a little bitty one though. But, ah. Uh. I had actually, actually had a couple of them chasing it, just that one went after it.
that one. There we go. Ah, look at the colors on that. That's a nice little pretty fish. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm glad there's something out here. Look at that. See the colors on this guy. Pretty fish. Most of them around here. I guess this isn't actually the same river, but uh, this is a little creek. I think it's mostly rainwater actually. But most of the fish in the river are green and they're solid, they're one color. There we go. Yeah, to get the release. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so I've had a four bites. I've landed one. Three of them slipped off. That's uh, two on the Senko and two on the crankbait. Or the jerk jerkbait. So I actually got over to the other side of the bridge here. I climbed down through all this debris. It's like walking on quicksand. I sank through about knee deep in a lot of it. Luckily didn't get hurt. You can already see a good sized bass swimming right towards me. There's a handful of them out there. Take it, dude. Oh, he, he swiped at it, but he didn't get hooked. And I got mud all over me from the end of my reel ride. That sucks. Not exactly a crosswalk over here either. I mean, this road might as well be a highway. It's hard to cross. Oh, damn it. Ah, damn it. And that's how I'm going to lose my jerk, jerk bait. And it fell off. Oh well, I guess it's time to head back. My jerkbait's just floating right there in the water. Guess it's time to go. Let's see if I can get back out of here. I don't recommend trying this at home. It's a very busy street. And that's, you got blind sides on both sides. Cars can't see you coming. All right, I uh, tied on a crick hopper here. I've also got uh, two jerk baits and a little tiny crank bait. That's only big enough for one hook on it. So, that's what I've got carried with me in case I break off again. So. All right, this spot, a lot of leaves on the top of the water here. We'll see, see if there's anything in this area. Oh man, that one came up, got him a top water. That's a good one right there. I saw that one come up and grab it. It's probably the biggest one I've seen out here. Well, the biggest one I've caught, definitely. Oh.
Crick Hopper works. There we go. Not a bad fish here. Not a, not a bad looking fish. A little bit, a little one, maybe 11 inches. Surprised me there. I was about to pick it up out of the water and he came and grabbed it right before I did. Just for fun, let's get a weight on this guy. If I can get my scale out of my pocket. Mm, 0.82 pounds. It's a little less than a pound. That's that's impressive. I didn't think he would even weigh close to that. This has actually turned out to be a pretty nice looking spot. Uh, and there he goes, he's good. I know I'm a little bit high up in the water here, but I've I've released him from higher up. And that was on another one of these little cheap 50 cent eBay crankbaits. There, as you can see here. Yeah, that's why I wasn't so upset when I lost the jerk bait earlier because it only it only cost me like a dollar at the most. Alright, try to get back down here without spooking any fish that might be in the area. really hard to do when you're walking on solid concrete. Concrete carries sound and then on top of that the water is clear so they can see me coming. Problem with eBay crankbaits and jerkbaits is sometimes they need to be tuned but there's no way to tune them properly without breaking them. There's one. I got him. Wow, this is putting up a good fight. This is the uh, biggest one I've seen out here. Man, wow. Can't believe I actually got this one. This is a good, decent fish. Wow. Got some battle scars on him, too. This is one worth getting a weight on. This is a keeper size right here. Man, look at this. All right, it's not that big. This one's probably pound, pound and a half. It's got a big scar right down the right side of his, or the left, yeah, his right side there. Get the scale out real quick. All right, this might be the one I had on the Senko earlier that slipped off. I said a pound and a half, he is 1.70, 1.70. I just saw his tail moving over there. I thought it was a little small one. And uh, threw it out there and then I thought I was snagged and it was pulling drag, the reel didn't want to come in. That was a, this is a really nice fish. It's easily the biggest one out here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah, I think that's the one I had on the Sanko earlier. That's, that didn't get the hook. He bit the tail of the Sanko, slipped off. That was, and they say those cheap eBay crankbaits and stuff don't work. Did you see what I just did? 